Good morning, boys and girls. How's it going? Good. I'm at my house and I'm ready for another circle time. Are you guys ready to get started? Awesome, me too. All right, come on over. Let's start with the pledge. So come find a space. I'm gonna grab the flag and we can stand, put our hand on our heart, and I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. All right, the next thing we've got to do, we did our pledge, is we've got to do our calendar. Now, it is, since last time I saw you, a new month. I can't believe it, another new month. What month is it? Do you guys remember from last week? It starts with a J. J, J. June, June, good job. And June is a super exciting month because it, the weather definitely starts to get warmer. I bet you guys have been feeling some hot days. I know I have in my house. And we get to start summer and we have the end of the school year. So it's kind of like this exciting time when we're kind of switching over. Very cool. So let's count up and see what day today is. So last week on Monday, we started with June 1st. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Today is June 8th. Let's put the eight right up here. We're gonna walk our fingers up to the M. We know the day that starts with M is mm, Monday. You got it. So we've got Monday, June 8th, 2020. Very great. All right, our next thing we're gonna do is the weather. Now I am going to look outside at my house. I want you guys to hop up. I want you to go look out your window and see what it looks like at your house. So go ahead and do it and we'll sing our song while we, while we check, okay? All right. What's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today? Let's ask everyone. Okay, I peeked out my window. Did you peek out your window? Good job. Come on back. Come on back. How was the weather at your house? What did it look like out there? Really? Okay. Well, at my house, when I looked out, guess what I saw? I saw blue skies and I saw the sun. So I think today is a, yeah, sunny day. So I'm going to put up sunny and we're going to have to see how the week goes. But today is a sunny day. And you know what? We've had a lot of kind of hot days lately. I think today is going to be another pretty warm day. So maybe we'll have to figure out something to do to keep cool if we go outside. Because it is definitely looking sunny. All right, we're over by our map so we can see a little bit about what's going on over here. So first we've got up here, who is this? Donald Trump, you're right. He's the president and he lives in Washington, D.C. You got it. Let's find Washington, D.C. on the map. Oh, it's super tiny. It's that little star right there. And it's right next to the state where you guys are, which is Maryland. Yep. Yeah. And right next to this one, which is where I am. Virginia, you got it. We've got Maryland, Washington DC, and Virginia are all super close together, which is a really interesting part of where we live. We can drive not very far and we get to see lots of really cool things, which is really, really special to where we live. And you guys know that we've been talking about since we did the whole alphabet, A, all the way down to Z, that we said, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna review some of the trickier letters, right? The vowels. And the vowels are tricky, they're in lots of words, and they make two sounds. They make a sound that sounds like their name, which is called the long sound, and then they make another sound, which is called the short sound. And a lot of times the short sounds can get kind of tricky. They sound kind of like each other, they're kind of similar. So the more we practice them, the better we'll be at reading words and hearing those sounds all around. So this week we're gonna do a new vowel. And what vowel is that? Oh, you got it! I've got uppercase O and lowercase O. We know those are easy to write because they just look like big circles and a little circle. And like we said, they make two sounds. So the first sound they make is like the long sound that sounds like they're just saying their name. Oh, yeah. And we might hear that like at the end of the word rhino. Rhino. O has a long sound there. It also makes the short sound. And the short sound is going to sound like this. Ah, can you guys do that with me? Ah, ah, ah. Let's do it together. Ah, ah. 
All right, so this week again, I decided to kind of think of some animals that might have that O sound at the beginning. And then I was thinking we could do some movements like the animals, kind of like we did last time. And the first one, this is probably one of my favorite O words, and it is octopus. And you can hear that O sound in the beginning, ah, ah, octopus. Very good. I'm gonna put this one right up here. And then I think we've got to stand up and we've gotta do some octopus dancing. Of course, of course. All right, guys, stand up, stand up where you are. All right, now, because octopuses have so many kind of arms or legs, they kind of can dance all over the place. But when I see them, they kind of make me think of a dance that would look like this. Can you guys do that with me? All right, oh, we're going this way and we're going this way. Oh yeah, let's go up, oh, and down. Very good, all right, maybe we can even go in a circle. Can you do it in a circle? Do it super carefully, all the way around. Good job. All right, come on back, come on back. That was great octopus dancing. Good job. All right, let's see what else we have kind of going on this week. We've got a new number of the week that we're gonna be talking about, which is number 15. You've got it, we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. And we've got our word wall. Let's review the words that are on our word wall so far. I'm gonna bring it up close so we can read it together. All right, I see a big and little can me we you Look, he, like, she, said, it, is, go, to, and in. Very good. You guys have learned a lot of sight words. We have a lot of words on our word wall. And when Miss Heather and I made sentences with you guys, you guys did a great job reading them. That was so exciting. Well, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you on Tuesday.